Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. Um, I was originally going to do a different tutorial, but I'm going to hold off because I saw something from Sean Tucker on a, his YouTube channel. He's mainly doing photography, but he did do a Photoshop tutorial. And I'm just going to do a short version of it because I thought it was interesting to show how you can color grade using gradients. So let's get started. So I took this woman and here I, I went to stock photos and I, I typed in portrait woman and this one came up. I'll just pull this up so you could see the name photo by Eunice Latanias. Latanias. So um, that was the photo. I'm going to undo that because I already have the photo in here. And let me go back to my layers. And I didn't want to waste time showing you all again how to mask. So what I did, just so you're aware, is I took the photo and I did a mask of the lips. And I'm only going to work on the lips at this point. I'm going to do command click on the mask. And that's the lips. And then I'm going to have nothing selected and go to the adjustments and gradient map and you'll see this come up like that now it's uh, that's right up on top and it has the mask of the lips which you can now deselect because it already has the mask in there now what I need you to do for uh, you only need to do this once we need to have a black and white and you don't want to do that all the time so basically click on the middle delete it click on this and do color and go black and then this side and do color white white here there we go and so and if you now add preset which I did already if you go to your adjustments from now on you will have a black and white so if you click that it'll always start off as black and white so here's the interesting thing um, you can color in so many different ways, but I really like the way Sean Tucker did this because it showed some techniques that were uh, really easy to work with. So what he did, I'm going to pull in some lipstick here. And I do have the links. I just pulled this, uh, the, oops, undo, sorry. Uh, I, I just pulled in any lipstick colors I could find. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get close up so you can see here is I'm going back to that gradient mask. Let's put the lipsticks on top so it doesn't affect anything. I'm going back to that gradient mask, double clicking on it and clicking in the center, double clicking and then clicking on color. And I'm going to select one of these colors. Let's let's do the brighter one. Let's say this red and say, OK. So her lips are red, and yes, you can do that in effects, but here was what I thought was interesting. Uh, this works both ways. You can, this is always going to be in this hue now, so, and by the way, I have it set for hue up here. You can do color wheel and all, but the reason I have it set for hue is sometimes you want to just lower the hue, you know, you can darken it a little, but you're still in this hue. You're still in this color range. So now we can go to here. And what's interesting, I'm going to get a close-up here. As you see her lips, you can darken the color this way. I'm sorry, lighten the color this way, which I don't want to really want to do. But see the reflection? You can lower the reflection, which I thought was very, very cool. It's not only just changing the color, but you're pulling out the reflection there. So let me see if I can bring this back. So you're still giving her that, that lip color, but you can decide how much reflection you want in it. And all you do is double click here again, and you can raise or lower the reflection. And if you want to change, you can deepen the color, but it's all still in this color range. But now if I go here and I double click, I'm sorry, if I drag this here, say I want this color, let's go in the lighter shade there, and I can do this. I can do exactly the same thing. I can decide how much reflection there's going to be in her lips. And I thought that was really very interesting because I've never done it. I did try to go to effects. I tried to do the same thing when I went to effects 
and I couldn't get that exact control. So I, I think it's like it's wonderful that there are so many ways to do things. And also remember, just because so, someone shows you something in Photoshop, the reason I did this is because um, you can do almost anything in Affinity Photo that you can do in Photoshop. Not 100% anything, but there are even some things I think you could do in Affinity Photo that you can't do in Photoshop. And I noticed recently Photoshop is coming out with uh, new versions that have, they're copying some of Affinity Photo. So that's kind of a switch. Um, and I think it's very cool. I'm going to try one more just to show you the last one. Um, let's close that. I'm sorry, not close that. We double click, remember, not double click. We click on here and we go to color and we can pick. Let's do this really light one. That's a very light shade right here. And we click on that and it slightly changes because these shades were not that much different. And I can, I can lighten it. I can darken it. I can go to the hue. I'm in the same color. As long as I'm in this color range here, whatever I do, it kind of keeps us in that range, which I like a lot. And that's it. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks so much. I hope you found these videos useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support me, you can buy me a cup of coffee at buymeacupofcoffee.com slash df. And I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.